everyone, my name is Miss Jenny here at the Merrimack Public Library and today we're going to be making some rainbow toast. So for this one you are going to need some milk, we are going to need some food coloring, whatever colors you want, a clean paintbrush, and some bread. Now if you want you can toast this up to eat it or if you don't like toast you can just have it as is. So let's kind of just scroll on down here. All right, so I'm gonna be making mine on some plastic pieces. I wish I could change the lighting in here sometimes, but we are going to use this part of an egg carton. It's all been cleaned <laughs> as my ooh, paint palette thing. So we're gonna put some milk in here and that's gonna kind of act as I want to say like the base a little bit all right cool so I'm going to make a purple because that's one of my favorite colors if you could not tell by my hair I'm gonna make a blue one maybe there we go my goodness the blue is very messy if you watched our last messy Monday you would see that it turned this finger blue now this one's turning this finger blue and yeah, let's add a yellow. Sure. Um, maybe I'll add a green too. Let's add green. I like this light color green. So we'll add that right here. Perfect. And you might want some, if I come down here, paper towels so that we can kind of clean our brush in between. So that's gonna be my green color. I think that's a very pretty green. Maybe you can see it, yeah. And here's my yellow. Now I only did one drop of each color in the milk and that's giving me the color that I am looking for. And then the blue, excellent. So. Now we're going to paint pictures on our bread. So let's see, I think I wanna do a flower first. So I'm gonna take this piece of bread and I am going to do the yellow first. And it might take a couple little coats cause bread is kind of porous. What that means, cause that's a big word, porous. It's spongy, it's gonna absorb all that color, right? Um, so if you were to toast this, it's gonna get extra crispy there too. But again, your call. All right, so I had to add a few coats, but I have some yellow in the center. Kinda, ooh, kinda looks like a bread egg right now. I've got some butter fingers, it's a good thing I'm not gonna toast mine. And then you, you can add some petals to it, so I'm gonna add some petals to my flower. Choo, choo, choo. I don't think I'm going to toast mine, um, primarily because we don't have a toaster in this room, and these videos seem to not like me too much when I try to uh, do any cuts in it whatsoever. So, you're gonna keep painting and maybe you're making a dinosaur that would be really cool and special but look how great the color is coming out and maybe you just want to paint this and then make a grilled cheese sandwich with it I don't know I would love to hear what's your favorite kind of sandwich I really like I love a grilled cheese I mean who doesn't like grilled cheese um, when we were younger, my younger brother used to really like pickle sandwiches. What do you think about that? Pickle sandwiches. They were better than they sound. <laughs> uh, they basically just had pickles and cheese and I think he liked his with mayonnaise, maybe? I don't know. I don't really remember because I did not like them. Um, but I was a big fan of cheese sandwiches where it was just bread and cheese. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. And I'm gonna add a little stem right down the bottom. Oh my goodness. 
And then I think on this one, I'm just going to put my name. So I'll clean it in the regular milk, just like you would with watercolors, but we're using milk instead. So I'm gonna take the purple and I'm gonna go M for Miss. Ooh, or I could make a cat or a bunny. You know what? I'm gonna make a bunny. Changed my mind. It's gonna be a purple bunny. But maybe it'll have blue eyes and a yellow tail. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah. Oh, I like this bunny. That's so fun. Yep. What am I doing? I think I'm in art class all of a sudden. Uh, let's add some eyes. Bloop, bloop. And clean the brush again. And let's add a yellow tail. Oops, as I splash it all over. But the good thing is because there's so much milk, it's not gonna stain things. We'll add a little bunny nose. And we'll add some bunny whiskers. Because bunnies kind of have whiskers like cats do. All right. And that's going to do it, I think. I think that's going to be it. That's going to be my bunny. Yeah. I like my flower a little bit more. But they're both super special because I worked really hard on them and I made them. So you can toast them up. You can put them in a sandwich, have your own little grilled cheese, but you did it and decorated it all your way. Now, I have some thicker bread here, see? So it didn't go through all the way. So it's not gonna touch your food, but it's a fun and different way to create some art and it's edible. So absolutely let's create let's make things a little bit different and let's see if the lighting's better so there's my bunny it's all right <laughs> not my best work but it is a little tricky on the bread and there's my flower all right that's pretty much it so as always i hope you have a wonderful day if you have any comments or questions you can always email me at jenny j-e-n-n-y at merrimacklibrary.org um, you can find us on Instagram at Merrimack, L-I-B-N-H, or on Facebook under the Merrimack Public Library. So many ways you can reach us. Um, yeah, I would love to hear from you. And as always, stay healthy, stay safe, and I cannot wait to see you soon.